20 years ago, my friend's brother, Charlie Waller, took his own life. He was 28. I don't need to tell you how devastating that was for his family, for his friends, for all of us who cared about him. Charlie was depressed, but tragically didn't talk to anyone about it, so didn't get the help he needed. Today, the Charlie Waller Memorial Trust works with schools and universities, with doctors, nurses and employers, training people how to spot the signs of depression and giving them the confidence to take action that will help. Now, I'd like to share a few facts and figures with you. Three children in every classroom have a mental health problem. Amongst teenagers, rates of depression and anxiety have doubled in the past 30 years. 75% of mental health problems start in adolescence. But the good news is, if problems are picked up early, outcomes are good. The Charlie Waller Memorial Trust gives talks and workshops to teachers, pupils and parents across the UK to help young people stay mentally well. We cover all sorts of issues, anything that affects emotional and mental health, but particularly uh, stress and anxiety, uh, self-harm, which is enormously prevalent, uh, depression, uh, and disordered eating. We're really hoping that, that, that ultimately people come away, our trainees come away with an increased confidence and understanding. And there are really, really common themes arise with teachers that, that talk about their kind of concerns, about um, they might do harm, they might open a can of worms, that is it my role? And actually we developing that confidence that yes it is, and in really ordinary everyday ways that can make an enormous difference to young people's mental health. I really enjoy the, the visible change I see in the way people think and talk from the beginning to the end of a session. As trainers, it is not difficult to raise awareness uh, of mental and emotional health. What is more challenging and more important is to be able to give young people tips and strategies which they themselves can then implement on a daily basis. That gives them confidence, that gives them hope. We also train busy GPs and nurses, giving them the understanding, knowledge and skills they need to identify and treat patients with mental health problems. We train other groups of professionals too, more than we have time to tell you about in a short film like this, but you can find more details on our website. We'll give you the address at the end of the film. The ethos of the Trust is very much about getting people to talk openly about depression and other issues. It's so important, particularly for young people, to be able to talk about it and take that first step to trying to get some help. One in four people will, will suffer from a mental health problem of some form. So we all need to understand it and have some of the practical advice and the confidence to listen to people and actually support people and take steps to look after ourselves. The Charlie Waller Institute, based at the University of Reading, specialises in looking at research into adolescent depression and anxiety related issues, finding the treatments that work, really improving our knowledge of why people get ill, how they can get better and also they provide training to therapists so the standard of the therapy that's given is that much better. I found the training session extremely useful. I think it was so nice to be able to talk so openly in such a large group. It's made me feel that if I just go and sit, and even if I say two, three, four words in the entire conversation, if I can just be there, make eye contact and listen, then there can be such a difference. Bottling up isn't a very good way of processing and dealing with stress and depression and anxiety and mental health, because the likelihood is if you have people that care about you and will help you, the first step to recovery is saying you need help. The work of the Trust is vital. Depression and other mental health problems are very common, but there are treatments and with being able to talk openly about it and with the support of the wider community, we can make a big difference. Our vision is of a world where people understand and talk openly about depression, where young people know how to maintain their well-being and where the most appropriate treatment is available to everyone who needs it. Depression can be beaten. Talking about it is the first step.